I was the bridesmaid and he was the groomsman and I had no idea we were going to end up getting married. Let me tell you how it happened. In 2016, he used to message me on Instagram, but a lot of guys messaged me on Instagram, so I didn't pay attention to him. In fact, I blocked him because it was just getting annoying. In 2017, I met him at that wedding for the first time and I was like, damn, he fine. He looked way better in person, so we started talking. Three months later, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I was like, yeah, sure. One thing about Jones and I is if you ever invite us to your party, you will definitely know we're there. He matched my vibe he was a good mixture of a bad boy and a good boy if you know what i mean in 2018 he moved all the way to tasmania from melbourne and i said to myself there's no way i'm doing long distance we're definitely over but i'll just give it a try we promise to see each other once every month i'll come this month he'll come next month fast forward to 2020 this day was the day our lives changed forever this was the last time i saw him before they locked all the borders due to covid and boom i found out i was pregnant apparently he was planning to propose to me a few days after they closed the borders so I was living in my parents' house, my African parents' house, pregnant. Jones had my ring for four months. We couldn't see each other because the borders were closed. And one day my friends tried to take me out for dinner, but it wasn't dinner. It was Jones, literally. I don't know how he did it, but he literally came from Tasmania to come and propose to me. We finally got married and I had to leave everything I knew, everyone, to move to Tasmania with this coconut head. We finally had our beautiful son, Jimmy, and the rest is history. <laughs> the moral of the story is your husband might be in your blocks list, okay?